Aloha everybody, this is Wyatt with Michael at Solutions and this is part two to your mono tub and to making your substrate. Um, in this video we're going to take our finished substrate out of um, our boiling water where it's been pasteurizing for a couple hours now and we're going to let it cool off and then we're going to line it in our mono tubs along with um, the spawn and we will um, then put those into the incubating room and let those fully colonize and then put them in our fruiting room and booyah here we go so you always want to check the temperature you want to get down right in the middle and I turned this water off a while ago and uh, I think they've still been climbing so we're at about a 160 uh, right now so it's a good time to take them out and let them cool off until tomorrow where we're going to line them in our mono tubs along with our spawn One big piece all the way around. Bada bing. And then we'll get our uh, plastic black spray paint out and we'll spray paint the bottoms. And this way we're not uh, using contractors' bags, which are expensive and wasteful. Um, we're getting it at one time and um, it will uh, save us time and money getting them all set up. So here we are. Um, our tub is ready to be painted. We're gonna go take it onto our uh, painting station and uh, give it a quick spray. Some of you told us to use spray paint and rough up the bottoms um, instead of using plastic bags. I think this is a great idea as it not only saves plastic bags from going to the landfill um, and you having to spend the time to line each tub, you can also just do everything once with a cheap can of plastic spray paint and you won't have to do it again. It saves you both time and energy, and it helps save the environment by not throwing away plastics, and it saves you money because contractors' bags are expensive, and uh, it's just an all-around better idea. So thank you guys for all your comments and suggestions. So this is what we're gonna do this time. So we've got a can of black uh, primer spray paint. It's for plastics. And we're going to shake this up really well. Spray paint the bottom portion of our tubs. Okay, so there we go. The bottom of our tub is all painted and uh, we'll let it dry, then we'll take off the tape and then we'll uh, put uh, some spawn and substrate into our tub and get them ready for incubation. Okay, so here we are with our tubs. Now we're gonna take the tape off and we're going to uh, give it a good wipe with alcohol and then we're gonna start laying layers of our substrate and our spawn in the tub. So um, we'll start uh, cleaning this up and then I'll grab the substrate and we'll go from there. Okay, let's go grab the substrate and then we'll start lining our tubs. Okay, so here we are. We have our mono tub and we have our substrate here. Now each of these uh, packets of substrate holds about 8 to 10 pounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to first put a layer of uh, the uh, substrate down and then we're going to take our spawn and we're going to sprinkle spawn on top. So before you break into your spawn bag, you always want to check it to see if there's any visual signs of contamination. So just give it a quick look, you know, make sure there's no 
major wet spots. There's no trichodermas or green spots or blue spots or anything. And uh, if it's all good, then break her open and start laying her in your tub. So this is a button mushroom. I took this culture from a store, just uh, got a regular um, button mushroom that I liked and uh, then made some spawn so I can uh, grow them at home into, I like the big portabellas. I make, you know, like put them on the grill and uh, I like to make steaks out of them and stuff. So here we're going to first add a layer of our substrate and then we'll put a layer of the spawn on and um, then we'll repeat that process until we filled it up um, to a little bit below the black line here. So if each of these is about um, uh, 10 pounds, <clears throat> I'm gonna use about two pounds of spawn. So each of these bags is about four pounds. So I'm just gonna use half a bag of spawn to one bag of uh, uh, substrate here. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna put a layer of substrate in. I'm gonna just spread this out here. Break it up a little bit. Check for field capacity. That's pretty good actually. I got a few little drips coming out. It smells so good it has such a sweet smell to it so I'm just gonna like mix a little bit into the bottom here I like to kind of mix it in a, a little bit in the bottom layer and then I'll lay some more on top um, and I won't really mix that in and then I'll put another layer of substrate up um, over top once this is done we'll put a bunch of polyfill in these holes and then we'll put it in a dark a nice cool place for it to start colonizing. So the next thing you're going to want to do is just kind of take a little bit of alcohol and a wipe and kind of clean off the top, clean off the inside of the tub. You know, you might have gotten some substrate, uh, you know, along the walls or anything. So give it a nice wipe down. Just keep everything clean and kind of sterile. I clean right up to the line of the substrate. Um, this way you're just keeping everything clean and giving it the best chance to uh, to colonize fast and without any contamination so we're going to take the lid we're going to wipe this down with some alcohol and then we're going to put it on and we're going to take some polyfill and fill it up these big holes so Boom, that's all clean. Now this polyfill is just a normal pillow filler. 
Uh, you can buy it at arts and craft stores. It's super cheap. I just buy a huge bag of it because I'm using it all the time. It goes a long way. So I just take clumpfuls of it and I stuff it in these holes here. Okay, you want to make sure that it's not going to really fall out. There's other ways you can do this. You know, you can make filtered patches and stuff, but you know, this is the easiest and the cheapest. And you can make it as complicated as you want, um, but you know, I, with, with a lot of this stuff, the simplest method is usually the right way to go. Okay. There we go. The last thing you want to do is always label your tubs. Label them on the actual tub and not on the top because the tops can be uh, switched around sometimes. So this way you can keep track of uh, what strain you're using and when you made the tub and uh, see the progress and make notes and see what worked and what didn't work. So here we go. We have A, B, and number 0, 2, 4. And it is... St. Patty's Day, so it is 3, 17, 16. Okay, so there we go. Now we're ready to put these into the incubation room, and they will sit there and colonize. We'll have no light on, and uh, the CO2 will build up. And what will trigger pinning when they're fully colonized is exposing it to oxygen and to light. Now... Um, we could put a casing layer on these, and um, I usually do, but when we're doing a bunch of tubs, um, I think it's just easier just to flush them and let them go one time, maybe flush them a second time, unless you have more tubs ready to go, and then just change them out. Get one flush, put your other ones in a secondary place where you're not really having to worry about them, and uh, you'll get a lot more quicker turnaround. So now you're done with your mono tub and you're ready to enjoy fresh mushrooms at home. We hope you've enjoyed this series of videos and be sure to check back on our YouTube station for many more. We have a bunch of subjects and topics we're going to be making videos about because we love doing them. So please follow us on uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Tumblr, and all other social media. Visit our website, mycolabsolutions.com. We're going to be posting a lot more links and a lot of scientific papers and information about mycology and how to grow mushrooms. And if you're in the Sonoma County area, we're going to be teaching a beginner's growing mushroom class through the Santa Rosa Parks uh, program. So that's going to be at the Finley Center on Saturdays. So um, thanks again, everybody, and uh, we'll see you next video. Aloha.